girls and guys, it is Sarah from Sally Let's Play, and we are back with another episode of The Sims 3 Generation. And quite a bit has happened since we last saw the little family. So let's go ahead and let you guys know what's been going on. So first, um, you guys know little Ricky Jr. the third, fifth, whatever he is. <laughs> has grown up now he now had his first day of school it went really well but now he has homework to do and he hates doing it so that is not very good but he'll get used to it you know it's the first day i'm gonna allow him to relax a little bit and also it was sahara's birthday and look at her she is now a young lady um and she is she got some new traits and that is that she's flirty um, and she just started high school so it's really exciting um she also just like right now she just seems to be really really into her friends she got a new bedroom because you know now she's now she's a teenager now it's time for her to face out of like her kitty room and stuff so of course like any teenage girl she loves her boy band there she has all her posters and her bedroom's just a bit more neutral and stuff like that and i think she's gonna go help um yeah she's gonna go help ricky with her homework and look she still has her little doll and i always want her to keep pat i think pats should be something that she keeps forever for the rest of her life because it's special to her isn't it so i think she should definitely keep a little pat the doll all right so are they gonna do their homework they need to go to sleep soon though um and she needs to do her homework as well all right so let's have her do that and then um did she finish her homework actually oh it's old homework she doesn't have it anymore <gasps> Look at that. She has her trophy because she le she learned how to do a pirouette or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. So she needs to have she needs to have her trophy on display. I mean, that's a big accomplishment. Look at that. Mm-hmm. She could twirl all day. So she actually hasn't had her first day of high school, actually. She's gonna have it tomorrow. But she should be able to help him with his homework a lot because like she's older and stuff. This should be easy peasy. Let's get rid of that little thing, though, because we're never going to do that, are we? Okay. And then I also want her to spend some time on the Is she good, though? She needs to go. We'll have her take a shower before she goes off to school. And then um, she wants to have some fun. So let's let her have some fun on her computer. She has one in her bedroom now. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Jobs. She could get a job, a part-time job. I don't want her to get one just yet. Because I feel like it's going to be too much for her to handle. Maybe as the school year goes on, it might be a good idea. But right now, we're just going to have her relax. Um, let's sign up for after school. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff she could sign up for now. Hmm, there's sports, music, art, shop, newspaper, study, debate, or drama club. Um, being that she's kind of being more outgoing at the moment, I think I want her to sign up for the drama club. I think she would enjoy that. It'll be easy. It's not something that she has to like work re really, really hard at. So I think that'll be good. Um, and let's go ahead and chat with... <gasps> look at that. It's an enemy, isn't he? Let's... They look like they're twins. Oh, they are twins. Let's have her chat with Andrew. All right. Now, what is... Ricky doing. She's in the shower. She's gonna get mad at you. Uh oh. There he's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. Let's have him go take a shower and then he can go to sleep right after. Be uh No no no. Just go in here. Go shower. And then afterward to go to sleep. Cause you're tired and you need to go to sleep soon. And she also needs to go to sleep. How's Mia doing? Why is Mia... Why is she not home? Where was she? Oh, she went... Where the heck was she? What were you doing, Mia? Oh, look. She's got her new schooling outfit. She should have just taken the car. And he's fine. Look at him. He's just fine and dandy at home. He needs sleep. She needs to go to sleep as soon as she gets here. Oh, she actually stinks. So let's have her take a shower. And then, uh, oh, she hasn't ate anything. Gosh, she has a lot to do before she goes to sleep. Let's have a quick meal. Some cereal since it's late anyway, and then we'll have her go to sleep. Now, let's go ahead and speed that up since everyone's just going to be doing their little tasks. And that is it. Mia has been spending a lot of time at the bookstore and has read five unique books. She will remember the laugh, tears, and the giant paper cut. What? 
Sarah has now signed up for Drama Club, strengthening your vocal cords as, as, cord, as you venture into the depths of acting. Before you know it, you'll be amazed by the growing charisma. Yep, I think it'll build character for her. And I think she'll enjoy it. We'll see how it goes for her. Um, let's see. Is everyone going to sleep? He needs to sleep as well. Oh, she's not sleeping yet. Girl, you gotta stop chatting with him. Yeah, he just because he's single doesn't mean you could date him, young lady. Chill out, all right? You're you're only you're only look. It says you're only a teenager. I don't want you growing up any faster than you need to. Okay, please just slow down. Ugh. it feels like by next week I'm not gonna have any children anymore. Okay, now everybody's sleeping. Good. What time is she gonna get up? Nine thirty. Uh, they can't be getting up that late. They gotta get up at like six. Because then they have three hours to get ready for school. So when he gets up, he could use a toilet. He could... Is there any leftovers? Great pancakes. Yum. They could have that. He has to get up as well. Eat, after, eat some uh, slices of cake. Because he works today, doesn't he? Alright, and then have a shower before everybody else gets up and takes over the bathroom. I feel like now that we have a teenager and two adults and a kid that we need another bathroom. Just because it's gonna, it gets too crowded. Okay, is he gonna go have his meal? He should have taken a shower first because Ricky's gonna have to get up soon. Dang it. What's he gonna do first? He's gonna go wee wee. Oh, and he has to get up now. All right, let's set her up. We'll have her eat great pancakes as well. Gosh, running a running a family in the morning is so hectic. Okay, you gotta get up. Just go wee wee. It's Mia's birthday. No, it's not. You lie. You lie. Okay, we fixed the little aging thing. I'm not sure why it said that. Okay. Um. Don't get mad at him. He needed to go wee wee. What did you want him to do? To hold it? He can't hold his wee wee in that long. Okay, and then you eat some leftover grapes, grape pancakes as well. Is she getting up yet? Come on, you guys. You guys gotta get up for school. What are you doing? Uh, wants to chat. Oh, about what? We'll have them talk. We'll let them talk. But that is it. That is all they're allowed to do. Oh, the school bus here. Oh my gosh. She has school at 8 o'clock in the morning? Girl, you better eat your pancakes. Uh, the bus is here. You guys gotta stop eating and go to school. Go on. So, since it's your first day of school, right? Don't skip school. You got no, 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 no. You're not skipping school. You might be late, but you're not skipping it. So you're gonna have to work hard today because you guys ended up having being late. Um, let's have her talk to her friends. This is the first day of high school for her. You guys missed the bus. You better hurry up. Oh my gosh, how many kids does she have now? No. Did they actually miss school? <gasps> this is their first time missing school. Oh my gosh. Where the heck is the school? Here it is. Um, you need to go to school. Yeah, why is it keeping you at the house then? Okay, they're gonna take a cab there. Oh my gosh, how many kids are there? There's like... Ten of them. Oh my gosh. Why is Jacob here as well? Oh, he has today off. It's Tuesday, not Monday. Oh, maybe he can help. Okay, perfect. There's too many kids. Alright, Landon, what, what do we have to do? Can't we just all feed them? He's very hungry. So let me feed you on the floor. They're all very hungry. We're gonna f just feed all of them. Oh, he smells bad though. Ugh. So we're, we'll change your diaper and then we'll feed you. Even though that means you're just gonna poop as soon as I change your diaper. He's a little bit hungry. Okay, good. Look, we're trying to have like this organized thing. So we're gonna change your diaper afterwards. Change your diaper. Look at that. That's like, this is like military stuff. 
We are so spot on. And what is Jacob doing? You gotta be doing more important stuff. Oh, we need to we need to sign up um Ricky for an after school. Maybe we <gasps> scouting would be fun. I think he should do that one. He'll do scouting. Um talk to friends. Oh, he's going on his field trip today. That's right. That's good. First day of like like well first week of school and they already got field trips. Gosh, that's a fancy school, isn't it? Are they all good now? Ricky is now signed up for scouting. You'll focus on sharpening your physical and mental development. That is very good. He needs that. Look at this. This is back running. All you do is all you see is her running back and forth, back and forth. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Let's see. Don't play with Sahara's doll. She's smelly. I just changed. Oh, she's going to change her diaper now. Okay. A little accident and is terribly smelly. I just changed her diaper. She wants her diaper changed again. She wants to be having more fun. Let's attack you with a claw now that we don't have any little children. How is he? How could he be having more fun? He's like been playing that thing for ages. Oh, she's sad. Oh, is that kid doing? Don't go to her doll. You better not. Uh uh. Uh uh. He better. He's going for the doll. He's going for the doll. He's going for it. He's going. Nope. You better not. We cannot allow this to happen. Ma ha 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 ha. You're never getting the doll. We're gonna put it right here. Haha, -ha, now you can't get it. Oh, he's gonna be heartbroken. He's like, why did I come all the way over here for? He's so sad now. Okay, now, Camilla. Camilla, stop. Camilla, stop moving. Why can't these kids just be easier to take care of? I wish I was taking care of older kids. It'd be so much easier for me. Oh, she's in a great mood. Yes, you keep being in a great... Can we pick him up and put him on that thing? Take him outside. That would be good. Okay, we're going to have Jacob pick up... Oh, we could play with him. <gasps> okay, let's pick her up. And then we're going to sit her down on that little thing. Can we let all the kids ride them? And then we could watch both of them? And then that'll be perfect. Just carry all of them at once. You can carry one on one arm, the other one on the other arm, one on your shoulders. It'll be excellent. Or is he going to have one at a time? Let's see. Oh, it's going to be one at a time. Okay, so we'll have her let the other one ride on it. Yep. See, it'd be so much easier if I could hire someone else to work with me. That'll just be perfect. Oh, look, he was trying to go for the doll. Mm-hmm, I know you, you little sneaky snake. Where's the other kid? Oh, shoot, I lost another kid. I feel like I need to put them in an enclosed room where there's no door so they can never escape. Mm-hmm. Sarah Harris class will be taking a field trip tomorrow to the Spectre, Spectre family mausoleum. Do you want to sign the permission slip? Yes. Let her have fun. Well, who would... You know what? I always felt like... Why would a parent ever say no to a field trip? That's like heartbreaking stuff for a child. It really is. It really is. Put Landon down here. Okay, now they're starting to smell again. Shoot. Oh, he could help. So, change his dirty diaper. Since he stinks. That's basically what it's saying. He smells bad. Oh, look. We're taking him on a stroller. What about her? She could be having more fun. I want to find a new job. I think she needs a new one. It's too hard being a daycare worker. Way too hard. Oh, so hair is home. Okay. Ooh, she has homework. She's not happy about Let's have her do her homework first. And then um, we'll have her just talk to some of her friends. But we'll have her talk to her friends in her room. Because kids, teenagers are big on privacy, aren't they? Yeah. Um, she already signed up for her after school class. Um more she can't purchase a home she's too young for that can she invite someone over maybe we'll have her do that cell phone 
services. No, call. <gasps> she could ask them, make a prank call. We're gonna make a prank call. Mm hmm. Oh, look, her phone's ringing. Answer it. Who is it? It might be. It might be Andrew. Answer your phone. Hurry. Who is it? Kaylin is asking her to. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. To prom? Does she want to go? Wait. It's too soon. Does she even know this person? <gasps> I don't know. We're going to say no for now, but we're not going to reject. <laughs> we're just like postponing it. Let's make a prank call to Clark. If she's going to be going to prom soon, she's going to find out a good prom date. So that's what she's going to do. Uh, let's have Mia like take care of the kids instead of, you know, just swimming around. Let's feed on the floor. Where is the other kid? There. Oh my gosh, I keep losing children. Did she prank call? She thought that was hilarious. You could tell. Did you see that laugh? Let's invite over. And let's invite over. See, look. I don't even really know her and she invited me to prom. I can't just say yes. <gasps> She should invite Mortimer Goth because the Goth family is rich. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have her do that. You are you are going with Mortimer. <gasps> he doesn't feel like coming over right now. She got rejected by Oh my gosh. So she rejected someone to prom and now she gets rejected. That's what life is like. It's so difficult. Let's have her practice speech. No, let's have her change her appearance. Because, you know, she's a teenager now. She's going through that phase where she wants to start trying to impress boys and stuff. You know. You know all that stuff that we tell you guys not to worry about. <sighs> and then, look. Like, now she wants a makeover and stuff. So now she wants to wear makeup. And I said okay, but I just don't want her to wear too much, you know. She, like, like that. We don't want that, okay. We just want subtle little bits of makeup here and there. You don't got to wear a lot. You don't gotta, if a guy does not accept you for the way you look naturally, he does not deserve you, okay? Alright, now let's get some eyeliner. We'll just go with that eyeliner. You don't, you don't need blush. You could wear a little bit, okay? That's it. You could wear like lip gloss. I don't want you wearing lipstick yet. Okay? These kids these days grow up so fast. Go for a neutral color, yeah? We don't want... You don't want to be all up in somebody's face. Like, why can't you just wear that instead? Huh? Oh, you want a new haircut as well? Oh, your eyebrows. You know what? Since you're just like a child, you know? Like, you're just someone's daughter. I'm trying to be nice here, but those eyebrows, though. Them eyebrows. I don't know how I feel about them. They're very, um, archy, aren't they? <laughs> There, that looks a lot better. That looks a ton better. Look at that. That looks a hundred times better than before. Okay, look at that. You're like, perfect. You're done with your makeover. But I don't want her to come home with like 10 boyfriends though. That's hard for a parent, you know? It's hard. What do you mean I want to make that's not funny? He did find it funny. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. Anyways, you guys. So now we are on a mission to help Sahara find the perfect prom day so what i'm thinking is in the next episode we're gonna invite a few of the guys over we're gonna have sahara talk to them we're gonna have jacob and mia talk to them just so everybody gets to know them and we're gonna try to find her perfect prom date all right you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i hope you guys had fun watching please like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next episode of the sims 3 bye